My name's Sarah and I'm an artist and I'm doing a project in God's House Tower called Knit the Walls. It's a medieval building and what we're doing is we're knitting a version of the walls. So Knit the Walls is a um, participatory art project where I'm inviting anyone who wants to be part of it to knit or crochet or somehow fashion a piece of wool out of some yarn. Uh, what inspired it? Well, I'm working in this building for about for a couple of years, really, before it gets developed. And we're just thinking about different aspects of the building that are interesting to us. And one of the things I think about these walls is that they've been here and for like seven, nearly 800 years. And they must have somehow absorbed all the history and all everything that's... And so how can we release from the walls the history of the building and what's happened in here? And so we've made a, we're making a soft one as a way of investigating that. So people can knit in their own home or in the pub or wherever they happen to be to knit the walls as well. So you don't have to be part of one of these groups. About once a month I meet with people and what we tend to do now the weather's nicer and it's warmer in here is we actually meet in God's House Tower. But we've met in other places as well. So we've met with people in my home, we've met in various pubs, we've met in the art house. So yes, but for, I think for the next couple of months it's probably going to be in this building. I came to the 700 Women event, and so I heard about it first then. I'm married to Sarah Filmer, who's the artist that's leading this bit of work, so she told me. I know Sarah, I did the blue jumper, and so naturally it seems right to move on to knitting walls, which is what we should all be doing. I think I first saw it on Facebook. I think word of mouth, that's how I heard about it. Yes, I could knit and crochet. I am a knitter and crocheter. I have done some knitting before, yes. So I've done a little bit of knitting and a little bit of crocheting already, but not very much. I did not knit or crochet before I came across Knit the Walls. I could do finger knitting, but that was about it. I did a bit of knitting, but then I forgot how to knit. Knitting makes me feel calm, and it makes me feel connected either with whatever it is that I'm making or I quite often think about the wool that I'm using and the fact that it used to be on a sheep. So I quite often think about sheep when I'm knitting. Oh, it makes me feel all sorts of different ways. It's sort of almost subconscious. It um, calms me down. It's very relaxing. Sometimes I get really frustrated. Useful. Sometimes very angry when I drop a stitch. On edge. Therapeutic. It makes you feel very calm. Everyday stresses just drift away when you knit and crochet. Productive. Knitting fulfills my role in life. I really enjoy knitting with other people and having something to do while you chat. I also really like watching Sarah achieving what she wants to achieve. So she's got lots of ambitions for Knit the Walls and it's a, a great project. So I, I feel kind of proud of what she's doing as well. It's a nice way to think about the walls in, from a different perspective and I like seeing the different walls people have used to knit it and I like that everyone can have a go. Sociability, community, chatting. Because it's such a friendly group, yeah, very nice, lovely people. I like that there's a lot of people to chat to. I like the social aspect of it. I think it's really lovely uh, being able to just sit and chat with people and get to know people you don't know. Donut. I like how anything is accepted by it. Being free not to follow a pattern. You meet friends here and it's fun. Generally a very, very good idea. Anyone can come and knit the walls. I am the knit wall monster. Da, da, da. I hold history. You're looking the other way. I'm going to insert this donut into my mouth. 
I disown you as a mother. Yeah, can someone brush the sugar off me, please? <laughs>